A few years ago, I made videos about showing how to split carbon fiber and what you can do with it when you do split it. So carbon fiber at that time had fairly long fibers that were blended with the epoxy to create the rod or the flat piece. Today, whether you buy the carbon fiber from uh, U.S. sources or from China, an awful lot of the carbon fiber is actually made in China. And when you compare that carbon fiber from China compared to the carbon fiber I used to buy that was made in the U.S., it, the U.S. made carbon fiber split quite easily. And it wouldn't matter whether it was a flat piece or a, a round rod. It split quite easily. And I think the reason it did is because the fibers that were used to make the carbon fiber rod or flat piece were quite long. Now, I believe that the carbon fiber is made with very short pieces of carbon fiber fibers instead of long ones and uh, blended with the epoxy to make the product. The result of that is it's more difficult to split it. And it also takes a little bit sharper knife, so it, and it dulls the knife more quickly. So if you're planning to do it, uh, you'll need to use more than one blade, most likely, if you're going to split a whole piece. So why would a person even bother? Why would you want to split it in the first place? Well, let's start with the carbon fiber rod. This rod is 1.5 millimeter in diameter. And let's say I wanted to make a kite, but this was too stiff. And I didn't have a smaller diameter piece of carbon fiber that I could use. So what I could do is I could split it, not necessarily down the middle of the rod, but I could do that maybe too. It's a little challenging to actually get an exact center because for me I just eyeball it and I use a utility knife and this is a break off blade knife as you can see but it just needs to be a sharp and stiff blade that will allow for, for cutting through the carbon fiber and beginning the split and the split used to just occur, for example, here. If I'm going to split this rod, I'm just wiggling this back and forth and very slowly, and it splits. And you can see here it's split. It's not exactly even, but it's pretty close. Now, as I do this for a longer distance, my blade is going to need to be replaced in order for it to continue. I can force it to a certain point, but beyond that, what will happen is part of this will just break off. And that's not what I want. So I want to split it so that my results are, I have a smaller or low, you know, more flexible carbon fiber rod to use in the kite I want to make. That's what my goal is here. Another goal could be that I want to use this rod for a spine in a kite. And I don't want to bother putting on a tension line and have an adjustable bend. I want a permanent bend and I just want it to be there all the time. Well, I can split this rod 
along the length until I, of where I want the bend to be in my spine. Then what I do is I super glue it back together when, and clamp it in a form that shapes it in the shape that I want. And then when the glue is dry, I release it. And although you would think it would stay exactly there where it was glued, it doesn't. It does slightly reduce the amount of curve that you clamped it to the form, whatever it was. I used just a piece of metal that I bent and clamp it to that. But uh, it does straighten out a little bit after you, the glue is dried and you've released it from all the clamping. And that is true on a flat piece as well. Now on a flat one, the main reason would be since these are used primarily as spines, uh, would be to split it. This is one millimeter thick, so I'd split it in the one millimeter direction, uh, creating probably not 100% in the middle, because I don't know that my eyeballs are that good, but I can get it split split and I would need to split it again the distance that I wanted the curve the bend in my spine to be and that can be anywhere from just a short distance if you want it just at the nose or it could be half of the spine if you want it uh, a very gradual nice uh, bend uh, that way, either way, but you would split it, super glue it as you clamp it to a form that will allow it to take the shape that you want it to. But when you do that, make the curve slightly more severe than what you really want because it will straighten out a little bit after the glue is dried and you remove the form that you glue, you clamped it to. So I hope this helps if you're using uh, carbon fiber rods from China. Uh, just be sure that your knife is very, very sharp and that you don't try to split the whole piece with just one blade. You'll have to add, use a different blade as you go along. And if you split the whole rod, for example, you may need three or four blades in order to get it accomplished. Uh, if you don't do that, then the dullness will eventually uh, either not split it anymore or it might veer off and break it rather than continuing to split it. 